perhaps you you want to mention who or perhaps not um some guests that you've not yet interviewed but you'd really like to oh was <laughs> Uh, yes, I think, uh, Professor Walel Halak, uh, who maybe you might not have heard, he's a professor at Columbia University. He's written books like, uh, Introduction to Islamic Law. He's written a book on, um, uh, what has he written? Um, that's it, Restating Orientalism, a Critic of Modern uh, Knowledge. I'm talking about one of the books. Uh, he, he is a phenomenal uh, intellect, uh, and, um, he's extremely relevant. Uh, he, he, he's one guy. I haven't invited him yet because I feel I ought to read at least three of his books before I do, and I've only read one of them. Uh, but his books are really high level, fascinating. He's a pal he's a guy who is um, American citizen, but he was born in uh, Nazareth. I think some other guy was born there. I forget. Anyway, yeah. he's a pa Palestinian Christian uh, from Nazareth in Palestine, um, who has said some incredible things about Sharia, Islamic law, and so on. Uh, not not least that he'd much rather live under. A Sharia-based system than he would in America, mm. because for a whole bunch of really interesting reasons. There's a YouTube video about that. But he's also an incredibly distinguished academic. Uh, he's produced some amazing criticisms of Orientalist epistemology uh, uh, and uh, and his understandings of uh, the, the state, Islamic state. Uh, he's written a book called The Impossible State as well, which uh, is excellent. Um, so he, he, I really love to have him on, but I, I don't feel that I'm ready yet for him because he is such a um, you know, I really need to do more homework before mm. I possibly have him. Mm. Um, Jordan Peterson, I'm going off. I, I thought I'd like to, but I'm going off the idea, uh, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I, I, but I think, I think it, if I did, it wouldn't be to talk to him about, it wouldn't be to do dower to him because he's been dower to death. <laughs> um, it, it would be, um, to hear him talk about, uh, his expertise, which is clinical psychology. So mm. to talk about gender to talk about all those issues that mm. he's so brilliant at talking about feminism, uh, wokeism and all that. I'd love to, to, to discuss that with him, but I, I think the Dower thing, it, 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 he's, he's been given more Dow than most people on earth, I think. And, um, perhaps we can, I, I would like to focus on what he's actually an expert on, which is psychology. Yeah. I, I was going to ask you, someone asked for me to ask you about Jordan, Dr. Jordan Peterson. I think you'd have to make sure you've got your terms defined beforehand. So what do you mean by do you accept God? Yes. Uh, so th this is, yeah, I, I absolutely not going to go down that path. I, I, again, my channel is not about doing doubt to people anyway, at least not directly. Mm. Hit, hit. No, but I mean, it's, not, um, <laughs> it, it, it's about, you know, hearing our expertise. So he's an expert in certain fields and he really is worth hearing in certain areas. And I would love to have him as a guest for that purpose, but not to get his views on Islam. And he's not an expert mm. on these things, actually. Um, you know, I, I get a Christian theologian on or a biblical scholar, and I do. Uh, I'm incredibly fortunate to have them on. I talk to them rather than him about Christianity. Mm. I, I, I think uh, the previous academic that you mentioned that you'd like to interview, um, am I correct in thinking he was discussed in your interviews with Imam Tom Fakin? Um, when you were reviewing his books, I think Imam Tom went through his books or. Yeah. Uh, Professor Talal Assad. Uh, ah, right. Th th but this is the book that we have for formations of the secular, the, the, probably the most dullest titles of a book I've ever come across, but it's actually a brilliant, brilliant book. And, uh, uh, yeah, there are lots of people like that. I I'd love to have on, um, yeah, absolutely. The people I'd like to have on again, uh, actually, this is probably more people like Professor Ali Atai, who's mm. hugely popular mm. uh, and he's such a stunning intellect mm. and communicator. I mean, he is, I mean, I'm touching him on WhatsApp, but yeah. he is coming on uh, in a couple of months, mm. uh, God willing. Mm -hmm. um, people like here, uh, Ham, uh, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, uh, uh, inshallah, is coming at the end of next month. Um, uh, and, if, and other people as well have said they will come on mm. in due course. Yeah. So I think, um, yeah, I've, I've also, I think I'll also try and reach out to Dr. Ali, uh, inshallah, because, um, mm -hmm. I've been quite inspired by some of the things that he said. I really liked your interview with, um, Sheikh Abdul Hakim Murad and yes, what about, uh, just throwing it out there? Blogging theology and King Charles. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, 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 in your in our dreams. I, I, I'm gonna have. I thought that was a brilliant um, little episode that you, you that you did on um, King Charles's mm -hmm. view towards Islam and 
whatnot. So agonized. Uh, the friends and I agonized over that for days because uh, the Queen had just died, and um, it was obvious that Charles was going to be the next king. He, you know, as soon as she passed away, he became king. So I thought, wow, I'll do, I'll do a video on Charles and Islam. And friends and I were saying, you can't do it. We're, we're at the nation's mourning. You know, you can't do a video. It'd be really bad timing. And and so I wanted to do this video, but when can I do this video? So I don't upset people or I don't want to kind of break diplomatic protocol by putting. And, and then, of course, Charles himself did a walkabout outside Buckingham Palace. This was like 48 hours within his mother's uh, death. And I thought, well, that's it. If he can go around meeting the public and shaking their hands, which he did, I can do a video. I mean, you know, I, I, he's not in seclusion. He's not like, oh, I've got to respect his grief and not say anything for six, for six days or a week, wherever it was. He's out and about. So that, and that was the green light. I thought, fine, we were good to go. So I just did this video for 12 minutes and um, it's had over half a million hits mm -hmm. um, um, since then. Um, and it's, it's, it's the most popular video I've ever done in terms of viewers, of course. And, um, um, and it was great. It, it, it was perfect. It turns out in retrospect, it was perfectly timed. Mm, yeah. it, it, it really was. Mm. Um, but that was um, just good fortune, mm. really. But no, he, he's not just King John. He's the head of state and they don't appear on YouTube videos. It just doesn't happen diplomatically. Mm. It's politically impossible. Mm.